8 a.m. in Moscow. I'm Matt Trezza. Good to have you with us here on RT. Our top story, the anti-Wall Street campaign that inspired mass protest across the world over the weekend is into its fifth week with more demonstrations planned. Despite hundreds of arrests in the U.S. and a tough response from police, activists are pledging to stay as long as it takes to end what they see as widening economic injustice. RT's Lucy Kafanov has more from New York. Well, I'm here in Zuccotti Park, which was the scene of a massive, massive turnout of Occupy Wall Street protesters over the weekend. Uh, it was just one of the locations where protesters had gathered. We saw an unprecedented number of people rally together to march to Times Square, where they had uh, converged to... Uh, to, sort of in commemoration, in solidarity with some of the other events that were taking place across the globe, uh, part of the Occupy Wall Street movement. Now, we've seen a lot of tense uh, standoffs with the NYPD, the New York City Police Department, uh, throughout this weekend. Protesters had peacefully marched to Times Square, where the contingents of people that I was a part of was actually trapped by police barricades, uh, pens there, and held for several hours. We were unable to move left or right or to get out. Uh, we saw police officers on horseback nearly trample a number of protesters. Police officers on scooters kind of ran over some protesters. There was a total of 92 arrests as part of the Occupy Wall Street uh, gatherings over this weekend here in New York. I witnessed several of them uh, in one instance when we were in Times Square. A number of protesters who were sitting peacefully demonstrating, uh, turning out to, to speak up for the economic injustices that they perceive are the issue in this country. They were taken by the police, slammed violently onto the ground, and handcuffed and driven away. Uh, we saw a number of protesters arrested violently while they were marching to Times Square. The police actually prevented them from turning on several streets, and so we were corralled and trapped for several hours, as I mentioned. Now, uh, at one point in Times Square, when we were unable to move, the protesters started chanting, reciting the First Amendment uh, back to the police officers, but to no avail. We were trying to film what was going on, and despite us saying that we are press, we're simply here to cover the events. Uh, they had pushed us back with batons in hand. They used these uh, uh, high-tech strobe lights to blind the cameras so that we were unable to film any, uh, any uh, serious visuals of what was actually going on, which was unprecedented in my experience here to date. Meanwhile, while these events were happening here in New York, the protests continued to grow uh, across the country here in the United States. In Chicago, there was uh, several thousand protests that had turned out. About 140-something of them were arrested by the police. There was also arrests in Denver, in other parts of this country, uh, all indicative of the fact that this movement continues to grow despite the, uh, despite the deteriorating weather. It seems like more and more people continue to show out to support uh, what has really become uh, a staple of uh, this American occupation, the so-called Occupy Wall Street movement. How it develops remains to be seen, but we will be covering it for you here at RT.